If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet, then you may be letting others know your passwords without you even being aware of it. Most people would think that the clipboard is controlled by the keyboard application, and while that is how the majority of OEMs handle things, Samsung's One UI firmware has a way of logging and storing your clipboard contents outside of the keyboard application, which allows them to have this type of feature embedded in the edge panel. So even if you aren't using the Samsung keyboard, anyone with access to your device in an unlocked state can view your recent clipboard history. But I can show you how to clear that out manually since there isn't an automated way of accomplishing this as of recording this video. So first, you may not even be familiar with how to find your clipboard to begin with, but anyone who uses the Samsung keyboard will have an easy way to access it from this top toolbar here. If you end up seeing a clipboard icon here, you can go ahead and tap it to access your clipboard history but it may be buried behind this three dot menu. So you may need to tap on that to expand that feature. But once we go into the clipboard from the Samsung keyboard, and you will then see your full clipboard history. I've read that this clipboard is generally limited via storage, but we currently do not know exactly how big that limit is. Some have suggested that it begins to overwrite the old clipboard contents when you reach around 40 entries. But if it's limited via space, then this will vary depending on if you're only copying text or if you have some images sprinkled throughout your keyboard as well. But this is where you want to check and see if you have any passwords temporarily saved here. If you do, you can tap and hold to select an item and then tap on the trash can icon to delete it. But you also have the ability to select multiple entries and then delete them in batches like this. But many people aren't using the Samsung keyboard and they would assume that this does not relate to them. Sadly, this is not true because it's the One UI firmware that's managing this clipboard history for Samsung Galaxy devices. So while you may be able to clear out your Gboard clipboard history, those entries will still be accessible in other parts of the operating system. For example, the edge panel is one of the first things that I disable when setting up a new Samsung Galaxy device. It's just not something that I use enough to keep it active, and I'm not a fan of the overlay that sits here on the screen when it's enabled. But this is where you can also get quick access to your clipboard history as well. And that's going to be important for anyone who does not use the Samsung keyboard and for those who don't even have it installed. So we can set this up by first expanding the edge panel and then tapping on the home key or swiping up to minimize so that that edge panel goes away. Then when you expand it for a second time, you'll see a little gear icon down there at the bottom. Tapping on it will allow you to edit the panels that are included. And at the very end here, you'll see one labeled clipboard. So once that has been added, we can simply do a swipe from here to gain access to your clipboard history, which again is really helpful for those who are not using the Samsung keyboard. And while the Samsung keyboard application will let you delete clipboard entries one at a time, the edge panel method gives you a clear button down here at the bottom. So you can manually clear out the entire clipboard history with a couple of taps. I have found it really strange that Samsung has yet to add a feature that will automatically delete your clipboard contents after a certain period of time. Gboard is well aware of this issue as they have implemented a built-in feature that will wipe the clipboard once per hour. 
but on Samsung Galaxy devices, even after a reboot and a complete power off, One UI will continue to save that clipboard history. And if you're doing nothing but saving text to the clipboard, then it's going to have a lot of storage space to keep dozens, maybe even hundreds of saved entries with all of those possibly being passwords that you've copied. On top of that, a recent security analysis showed that Samsung is even storing this clipboard history in a plain text file. So if anyone ever gets local access to your phone or they end up hacking into it to gain remote access, then that clipboard history is going to be rather easy for them to see what's inside. So please, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I would be curious to hear if you think the One UI clipboard history has ever saved you from forgetting a vital piece of content that you had previously copied. Or if you are as surprised as I am to find out that Samsung is keeping a separate dedicated list of your clipboard contents, even if you aren't using their keyboard application. And I would appreciate it if you would all give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well for more Samsung Galaxy tips like this.